Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Next Gen Louis here, and today I'm going to be doing a review for RBI Baseball 21. And I'm going to be honest, guys, on release day, when it came out, I'm not going to lie, I hated it. I thought it was really annoying that it was a 21 game with the 20 roster, and then it would just seem really buggy to me. Um, I have multiple clips that I'm going to show here where it was just bad. So here's one of the clips. I have a runner on second and third. The runner on third disappears, so I lose a run there, right? And then the runner that was initially on second, as he rounds third going home, he's stuck. And this one was really bad. So the game froze. This was actually my first game ever. The game froze. The pitcher was just holding the ball. No matter if I swung, did anything, it wouldn't move. So I decided to steal a few bags. I stole second, stole third, and here you see I am sliding home. So I just swiped three bases in seconds. Unlock that rare achievement. All right, so I'm going to just start off here with one of my favorite game modes, which is franchise mode. So I haven't played one yet, but I just created it. And everything looks the same. Uh, you know, the calendar, you can still sim through, you know, the season, the game, however you like. You know, you have your team stats, league leaders. That was all a part of 20. The only new one is front office. So what you still have is your trades. We also still have free agents. So you can go on here and all right, let's just add Matt Adams. And boom, he's on your team that easy. Like, it's just really ridiculous. Um, I just don't like that unless you sim your season, it might automatically trade him, release him, or, you know, he could even retire. But until then, for the most part, he's just going to be on your team, which to me isn't that good. Me personally, I want to see, like, just a full control of the franchise so what i mean by that is you know i want to have the opportunity to sign matt adams for a two-year deal maybe give him 10 million you know kind of work the numbers in i know in baseball it's a lot different compared to the nba and especially the nfl because they're working against a salary cap you know and in baseball it's completely different there's no cap so you know, you can just pay a player like $300 million and that's part of it. So they did add two new features. So they added create player. Um, and here, you know, you can basically make yourself, make maybe your favorite player of all time, someone who's retired. You can add him on here. Um, you can change the appearance, the rating. So you can max him out at 99 contact, power uh, to you know, to pull, center, opposite, speed, you know, like you can max them out or do whatever you want. And a nice feature that I have now is that you can edit your player. So last year I traded for Juan Soto and, you know, he had number 80 and that was so weird to me. I didn't like it. And last year, you know, I couldn't customize it, but now I can. So let's say if I want to make Willie Calhoun number 99, I can, you know. So that's what I like, just the full customization. You can change their bats, their gloves, things like that, which I think is a great addition. And I just think it'll be a lot more fun. And what RBI Baseball 21 did an incredible job of is the ultimate customization. So for offense, you have about, you know, three different swinging type so you have classic which is i hate it to me it's like stick figures i don't like it it's what rbi baseball used to be where you just move left to right swing uh rating is basically um you know a little more of what, what it is now and i think inside outside is kind of more of how uh mlb the show is if i'm not mistaken where you know you kind of gotta move your cursor you know or the barrel to where the ball's gonna be and even for their, your swing power. So here they set it set it up where 
it's multi-button you have a normal swing a power swing and a contact swing which i like or you can have a single button that does it all rhythm is kind of like what they had in rbi baseball 20 where you simply just hold down a for power but on rhythm you have to time it because if you just leave it held down it's gonna your power is gonna release so you can hold it to 100 for maybe about two or three seconds but after that it's just gonna go back down and gauge i think is to set your power level so if you want to swing at a at 100 percent every time you could just put it at 100 and then just swing or you know if you want it at 40 things like that fielding for the most part is the same and they also added a new customization to the difficulty so i think hard is pretty difficult now compared to what it used to be so they have an easy medium and hard and you can even fully customize it where maybe you know you want to challenge yourself and put the pitch speed even higher so you know now you have like literally half a second to react you know if you want to swing or not and you know you can adjust your throw speeds the curves things of that sort swing and a miss counts even all right guys so i'm not gonna lie i really 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 dislike the commentary on this game it just seems really choppy to me so there we have a base hit with tim anderson but it just seems really really choppy to me um i don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, transformers but bumblebee Oh, let's find out. So Bumblebee uses like the radio and it's just like different words from different people, like different tones. And it almost reminds me of that with this commentary. Like, you know, it'll say, you know, like, oh, fly ball. And it's, like, it's caught. Like, it's just really, really, really different tones. And it just doesn't go together. And it's real choppy and it's just not smooth at all. I see we can steal. Oh my goodness, we got gunned out. That was pretty bad. Alright, so I'm not going to lie. I do like a few things here. I do like the new scoreboard here on the bottom left hand corner. Um, I like that it now has your pitcher, who it is, and also their pitch count. So that's nice to have. I just think it just looks a little more clean. And also, I like that at all times, it's going to show you who you're, you know, facing and their stats. So, here's Mondesi. And, yeah, that's just something that the other game, you would have to hold, like, or click the left bumper. Oh, no. You'd have to click, like, the right bumper. And now, all that does is show your, your stamina bar. Or the circle, I should say. And we got a strike out there. And batting seems really good. One thing I did notice is that it's a little more difficult to hit home runs. I just felt like last year with 20, it was simply, you know, I would only hit home runs and I wouldn't really get, you know, like bloopers like that or singles really. It was, sim you know, if I made good contact, it was like gone. And on here, they do a better job of kind of, you know, making sure you get hits like that one was hit on the barrel good on time and it was a you know base hit opposite field to right so that's one addition that i do like oh this one is hit really well all right i don't know that one is damn it it's gonna be caught well defense looks the same to me for the most part like the dives seem a little bit unrealistic still um, I just don't like that. You know, sometimes it looks like something is out of reach and I don't know, they still somehow catch it or it looks like it's going to bounce and that, you know, they make the catch. Well guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my review. Just a quick summary. I think the game's really good. I like the direction it's going with. It's made some great improvements especially with customization that i didn't feel like we had last year and the gameplay seems okay i haven't played it a whole lot after the patch but it seems like it's not as buggy but there's still a little bit of improvements that it needs in the game a bit and also 
they got to fix that commentary. It, it just drives me insane. I just hate the different toned like phrases and it just doesn't go smooth together and I just don't like it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm curious to see if you guys feel the same way about this game. And please do me a favor and leave a like on today's video as it helps me and my channel grow. And also, if you enjoy RBI content, MLB The Show content here soon, I am going to do my best to post the best content available. So please don't miss out and subscribe. Thank you guys and have a good one.